Okay, now this problem also has uh, two terms. However, there's no like terms on this one because this is sine squared and this is cosine. And even if they were both sine, we still couldn't take anything out because one was theta and one is two theta. So in order to take something out, it's gotta be the same trig function and the same angle inside. So because of that, we need to find a way to uh, get rid of this cosine two theta by putting it in the identity. So if you get to a point in these problems where we don't have anything to factor out, then probably you wanna start looking for an identity to put in. So we're gonna go back to our double angle formulas. We did that before in a previous section. So you wanna make sure you have those formulas handy because you may have to use a couple of those uh, when working in this section. So for this, uh, we wanna look at which, we have three different formulas to choose from for cosine two theta. We wanna pick one that allows us to simplify this down more. Now there's uh, the, the first formula, cosine squared minus sine squared, not a good choice because then we'll end up with a cosine squared we can't do anything with. Then we have another one, we have two cosine squared minus one. That won't help us either because we don't wanna get two trig functions, we only wanna get it down to uh, one trig function. So the third formula is the one that we're gonna use here. That's one minus two sine squared theta. If I put that in, that's gonna eliminate the cosine and give us all sine squares. So here's, here we go, we're gonna do two sine squared theta minus, I'm gonna put the identity in for cosine two theta. So cosine two theta is the same thing as this identity right here, one minus two sine squared theta. So now that I've done that, I have like terms I can combine together now. So here we have, we have wanna distribute the minus sign. So I have minus one plus two sine squared theta equals zero. So we have, be sure to distribute the minus sign there. Let's add like terms. Two sine squared and two sine squared gives us four sine squared minus one equals zero. We're gonna solve this for sine squared and we'll have to take the square root. So when we do that, we add one to both sides and divide by four. You're gonna get sine squared theta equals one fourth. And now, don't forget to take the square root of both sides because we wanna get sine theta by itself. So square root both sides, you'll get sine theta is equal to plus or minus one half because we're gonna take the square root of the top number and bottom number separately and that's where we get that from. So sine theta is plus or minus one half. Now, if we look at the value from sine here, we look for one half and one half is right there. That refers to an angle of 30 degrees. We're okay to use degrees this time because our interval is from zero to 360. So we have uh, one half is there. We get the 30 degrees. And so I know that uh, one, one of my angles is gonna be 30. So I know that right here, I can draw in 30 degrees. That's gonna be one of my answers. So theta is gonna equal uh, 30 degrees uh, first. That answer is the first part. But also I wanna find out where, what other quadrant sine is positive in. And sine is also positive. Here's the y value there. It's gonna have another positive y value over there in the second quadrant. Or if we use all students take calculus, uh, student's sine is gonna be positive here. So it means I have another angle right there that's going to be 30 degrees. So to get this angle right here, it's, it's 180, and then we gotta subtract the 30 degrees back. So we're gonna do 180 minus 30 gives us 150. So these two would be the angle, the two answers for sine of theta equals positive one half. So let me go ahead and I'll indicate that here. So here's one, sine theta equals one half, we get these two solutions. But we also wanna consider sine theta equals negative one half. We wanna get the two answers associated with that one. Now 30 degrees, that's where sine is positive, but I also wanna look at where uh, it's gonna be negative. Now negative one half is gonna be right below here and right below right there. So this is actually gonna be 30 degrees here and also it's gonna be 30 degrees uh, right there. That's gonna be the, the ones for negative one half. Okay, now each of these, okay, to get this one, uh, this angle here, that's 180 over to here, but instead of going backwards, we're actually gonna go forwards. You're gonna do 180 plus 30. It's gonna give you 210 degrees there. This one is 360, 360 minus the 30 is 330. So therefore, we actually have four answers, 30, 150, 210, and 330, those are your four solutions for, for this one. We had to do four because we're considering both the positive version and the negative version, and that's what we get four. We get actually one answer in each quadrant.